the reason that you're all here today as girls is because um, girls have to empower each other together because the situation is difficult. As you grow older, you will see inequalities. So I wanted to give you a little bit of uh, statistics, a little bit of data, because you almost have to argue with data if you want to be understood. And what you see is that today, there's still big differences between men and women. So if you look at the world, not Ukraine, but the entire world, you see that amongst women in ministries, if you look at ministries, um, you find that in the world, only 23%, so less than a quarter, of all ministers in the world are women. So that means that over 75% of the ministers in the world are men. So in the ministry of economies around the world, only 14% of all ministers are women. So the vast majority of the ministers of economy in the world are men. So the fact that Tatiana is now a deputy minister, that she's reached that level of, of power and influence, really shows everything that she explained earlier about her work ethic, about mixing work and sports. All the advice that she gave to you is super important because she's really managed to break a lot of barriers to be able to reach the point where she is today. Because again, in the world, only 14% of all ministers dealing with economy, commerce, trade, are women. However, just, to, just also to, to, to tell you, if you look at the ministries of culture, the ministries of social affairs, there, around the world, 68% of the ministers are women. So in those areas, you find more women than men. So when you're talking about social issues, culture, women go to those areas most often in government. But they don't go to like the Ministry of Defense. The Ministry of Defense, so the army. Has Ukraine ever had a Minister of Defense? No. It had a, you've had a Deputy Minister of Defense, but you haven't had a Minister of Defense. There, only 12% of all ministers of defense in the world are women. 